kidding me? Are you joking? Good. Great. Good luck. We better have a good signal. We better have a good signal. We deserve a good signal. We really do. How are you guys doing today? Happy Thanksgiving. It's Steve Spell 2 here. I have uh, my daughter Hannah is somewhere nearby. Oh, there she That's is. close nearby. Oh, she is. She is very, very close. Doing? Very close nearby. We're coming to you from the Thanksgiving couch. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. And Hannah, let me be political for just one moment, if you don't mind so much. Just ignore me for a moment, Hannah. Now, Barack Obama recently pardoned two turkeys. That's right. He pardoned two turkeys. This is what he's got to do. This is how important his mission in life is. Uh, next, he's going to pardon a heifer, but I, I won't even mention who that heifer is going to be. Now, the vote counting has got to stop, ladies and gentlemen. They've got to stop counting the votes. This thing is over. Uh, somebody needs to set hard and fast rules that when a presidential candidate concedes and gives the election up, that all the vote counting must cease. This is teetering on the brink of insanity. The headlines today are, are, are not changing. Donald Trump has won. He's the president-elect. He's fixing to be president. He has made history. He busted through that glass ceiling that Ross Perot couldn't bust through, and he's become the first businessman to ever become president in the United States of America. It's historic. It's history-making. Donald Trump made history. But that's not the headline. The headline is the same as it was before the election. Clinton's wi Clinton widening her lead. Give me a break. That's the headline today. Clinton widening, widens lead in vote count. Come on, man. How can she possibly be widening her, widening her lead? This thing is over with. It's artificial. It's, it's a sham. It's a sham. This idea that Hillary Clinton is still expanding her lead is completely bogus. It's being brought to us by the fake news site CNN. You know, CNN is the propaganda arm of the state-controlled media. So you really can't believe any, any of the garbage that's coming from CNN. They are a fake news site. And we know they're a fake news site because they had Donna Brazil working for CNN and feeding the questions to presidential candidates, to, to Hillary Clinton so that, so that they could sabotage, the, sabotage her competition. They was trying to sabotage Donald Trump. They was trying to sabotage old Bernie, Bernie Sanders. And so Jill Stein is just, is just <clears throat> they're going to recount in Wisconsin. Jill Stein just raised $3 million. She's trying to raise $3 million for Michigan and $3 million for other states. Uh, they're still, they still have their fingers in all of this corrupt money that's coming in. They, they, they can't stop... They, they, they're in a perpetual state of gimme, gimme, gimme money so that I can do this and do this and do this. But they're going to keep counting these votes until there's bloodshed in the streets. If they don't stop counting these votes soon, they're going to start a war. They're going to start a war. We already see it. They're, they're, the terrorist wing of the Democrat Party is already threatening to kill people. They're threatening to kill Trump supporters. They're threatening to sabotage the inauguration. So at some point in time, somebody's got to be responsible and say, it's over. We've got to stop counting the votes because all it's doing is lending itself to foul play. I don't believe that these votes are still coming in for Hillary Clinton. For all intents and purposes, the polls are still open for Mrs. Clinton. They're still open. The polls are still open for Hillary Clinton, even though she lost and even though she conceded the election. There's foul play. There's mischief afoot. Believe me when I tell you, if Hillary Clinton had this huge of a lead and she was still getting votes in there, she would be the president-elect and not Donald Trump. It's completely 100% harsh manure. Harsh manure. See there, Hannah? I can curse it all. I, don't rarely, I rarely ever curse. I'm not going to start now with my child present. So it's horse manure. They're rigging. They're they're trying to. They're still trying to rig the election. They're trying to manufacture this thing. Jill Stein is just making trouble. She was a non-entity. She was a non-entity. She what did she get? One percent, point five percent, and now she's raising three million dollars. These people are crooked. They are absolutely crooked, and they're trying to start a war. That is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make this, it's, at this point in time, it is a matter of national security that they stop counting the votes. Hillary Clinton conceded, she gave it up, so now you've got to be responsible and stop counting the votes because I can promise you these, these vote numbers coming in are not being properly monitored and they are fraudulent. 
They're fraudulent. I understand that the polls are still open for Mrs. Clinton in Qatar. I understand that they're still voting for her over there in Saudi Arabia. I get that. I get that. But it's, t it's, time for this, it's time for this to end. Uh, when does it stop? I, I ask you, are, Christmas? Are they still going to be counting votes at Christmas? Are they still going to be counting votes on the day of the inauguration? Come on, man. Somebody, somebody has got to be responsible and shut it down. I, I, I push for hard and fast rules that once a presidential candidate concedes and admits defeat and accepts defeat, that the vote counting stops. Because at that point in time, the vote count is irrelevant completely irrelevant. It can't be trusted. It's not coming from reliable sources. And it gives the, the fake news sites like CNN and MSNBC something to agitate the 60 million people that don't love this country, something to agitate those folks into creating anarchy and mayhem on the streets. It's not what I wanted to be talking about on Thanksgiving Day. I, but when, when you turn the news on, that's all that the, the headline is that Hillary Clinton widens lead in the election. Well, the election's over. How can she possibly be continuing to widen her lead? That's the same headline we had before the election. The headline needs to be that the Dow Jones is the highest it's ever been after Donald Trump victory. That's what the headline needs to be. Trump rallies the stock markets in historic win. First businessman to break that glass ceiling and become president of the United States. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the headlines that America deserves. Not these fake headlines from CNN and New York Times. Clinton widens lead. No, she's not widening her lead. That's fake. That's coming from fake news sources. She's not widening her lead. She's not expanding anything. I don't buy it because if she was, if she was, if she, okay, they say she's 2 million votes ahead of Donald Trump. Next week, it'll be 2.5 million. The next week, it'll be 3 million. Before you know it, she's going to be 4 million votes ahead. No one believes this crap. If she was that many millions of votes, the most, they're trying to make us believe that Hillary Clinton is more popular than Barack Obama, than he was. Come on, man. That's nonsensical. There's no way that the, 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 the least popular presidential candidate to ever run for the office is, is receiving all of these millions and millions and millions of votes over Donald Trump, the winner. Come on, man. Come on. It, it, it's completely, it's, it's complete travesty what they're, what they're doing to, to, to our election system. And they're, they're trying to cast doubt on this thing, and they just need to move on. All you liberal Democrats that don't love this country, just shut up, lick your wounds, and move on. Move on. So anyway... That's what I got, guys. Me and Hannah want to talk about what there is to be thankful about in this th this Thanksgiving. So, I'll bring Hannah in. What? Come on, uh, come on. Mm. Quit laying around, child. Do I'm something with yourself. I'm lazy and I'm hurt. You're not allowed to be lazy today. Today's Thanksgiving. So, Man. happy Thanksgiving, guys. We wanted to say hey to everybody, and and just give shouts out. Hey, Nancy, what's up? We we we. Hannah and I are thankful. Okay, we're not going to be political. I'm thankful for <laughs> I'm thankful for the fact that, that the stock market has never been this high uh, with Donald Trump as president. That's what I'm thankful uh, for. <laughs> I'm thankful that these lousy, stinking, crappy Democrats will be forced to wander in a vast wasteland for the next million years. There's plenty to be thankful for. Okay. All right. Now, what are you thankful for, Hannah? I'm thankful to have you as my dad. I'm thankful to be talented i'm thankful for the people who um but, 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 but. donated i didn't script this she's thankful for her dad it's all it's a you know what give me a hug child <laughs> holy smokes all right so anyway hannah's thankful for her dad and i'm thankful that the stock market has never been this high under a donald trump victory yeah there's much there's much to be thankful about if you're looking for advice if you're going to see your family members, you know, remember, I saw it on CNN, they, they said that 60 million people in this country did not love this country enough to vote for Donald Trump. They may not quite put it like that, but so they're, they're saying that when you go to friends and families to be sensitive of everyone else's feelings and needs and, and try not to talk about this election. So excuse me, let me go over here into the political realm for a moment. Hannah, I'll be right back. Not to talk about this election, hey? Somebody just said you were a talented ar artist, Hannah. Who Thanks. said that? I think Tom said that. Tom McDaniel. Hannah is a talented artist. Yeah, she's working on some art. She's working on some art drawings here. I can't really show it because it's going to be mirrored. 
and there's a there's a terrible glare. Let me see. Let me see over here if you can see that. Hannah draws these fantastic these fantastic photos. I mean, she really is a she really is a good artist, and, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. So, when you're at your your friend's house, your family's house, when you go to your family, you have to be sensitive to the fact that 60 million people don't love the, don't love this country enough to vote for Donald Trump. So, what I suggest you do is pull up in the driveway, beep beep beep, make your presence known by blowing the horn a couple times, right? Walk up to the porch, knock on the door, and then bust through the door and say, "Trump, baby, Trump." That's what you do. Get that, get, get, that gets everybody there around the Thanksgiving table primed and ready to go. I want to talk about Trump. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Let's talk about the stock market. Has anybody seen the stock market? Don't you know it's the highest the stock market's ever been in history? And it's all because of Donald Trump. They're calling it the Trump rally. That's what you need to do. I think people just need to keep talking about Trump at the supper tables, around the turkey, around the Thanksgiving, and just keep this thing Keep this, keep this thing moving. Don't, don't spare, don't spare these liberal Democrats' feelings anywhere. <laughs> I'm serious, man. When I get to my family's after a while, I'm just gonna knock on the door. Hey, I want to talk about Trump, baby. Trump, 2016. That's it. Just get them primed up and ready for a good conversation. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. We're going to go do some, some, some Thanksgiving things. If I can just get this to work right. Uh-oh, Hannah. Hardware, hardware malfunction. I have to do it like this now. So, anyway, me and Hannah's going to go do our Thanksgiving, our Thanksgiving stuff. And food. <laughs> food. <laughs> what are we eating? Food. Well, Thanksgiving is also the annual day of oh, cheese yeah. dipping day. The annual cheese dip day. We're going to make some cheese dip here in a minute. Yeah, thank you too, Nancy. You too. All right, guys. Um, if you visit our Etsy page, you can check out our, our, our fragrance our fragrance oil lamps. This is an... Ooh, what is that? that this is mango pineapple. It's a, a lovely aroma. Ooh, that smells nice. Yes, it smells nice. Hey, I'll give you a bonus if I sell one. Visit our Etsy page if you want to buy an oil lamp or a sticker. And uh, if you can help fund our show, we have a, a GoFundMe page set up. The, I'll leave the link in the description. The funds go directly to me and Hannah so that we continue to make broadcasting and she can work on her, her art career because she is an aspiring artist. Me, I'm just so glad that Donald Trump won this election. Oh, oh wait till I get to my family's house. You ain't seen nothing, Hannah. I'm talking about, I'm busting down the door. Trump 2016. As soon as I get there, they're going to they're going to be my family's kicked me out before. I, I they probably going to kick me out again, but I just got to talk about Donald Trump today and I want to talk about the stock market. All right, guys. You guys have a good day. We love y'all and we're signing out. Hannah, let's say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye <laughs> from the bayou. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. <laughs> Later.